Hi, my name is Lionel from the Clarendon in Hebden, which is a pub situated just off Brassington. And I'm here today with Sally Young working with uh, Wall Valley Rapeseed Oil. Uh, we're going to create two really easy dishes that you can obviously make back at home uh, using different, obviously, local products, but mainly using rapeseed oil and rapeseed oil uh, flavoured mayonnaise. Right, so for today's dish we're using three different oils. We're going to use the rosemary and garlic, we're going to use the sesame and lemon, and we use this newly one which is done, which is orange uh, uh, flavoured. The combination of all three is quite crucial to the dish. So we've got a, a rump of lamb, it's about 200 gram, which is about the portion that you can get your butcher to do it. I've scarred it a little bit so that we, uh, when we cook it skin first, we crisp it up. We've got some chorizo, Yorkshire chorizo. I've chosen the spicy one, just so it enhances the flavour. The mild one will lose that flavour, so spicy one's better. A few sliced new potatoes. I've chosen three frozen vegetables, which you can get throughout the year. You obviously frozen peas, sweet corn, and broad beans. Of course, well in season, by all means use it, but this is so good, so why not using them? Obviously, we've got plenty of garlic, fresh rosemary, and this is a lamb uh, fat crumpet. So this crumpet, again, the recipe will be on the website. It's made completely with uh, using rosemary and garlic oil, and we also cook it with the lamb fat. And as you see, when I cut it in half, it has that crumpet look alike, and we'll use one of these to dress uh, this recipe. So for this dish, we got the lamb near the cooker. So I'm, to the, I'm using the, the garlic and rosemary oil just to put in the uh, in the pan. As I showed you earlier, I've scoured this. I just want to season it a little bit, and I'm going to put it skin first. Okay, so the lamb has now been in the pan. Nice and gentle, this is not too hot, this is not smoking. One of the issues with cooking anything, steaks, ducks or, or, or lamb, is not to touch it, put it skin fast, leave it one or two minutes, and then just turn it over. So I'm going to gently season it a little bit first, and I'm going to turn it over now, which is... Season it again a little bit. Two crushed garlic on that. The garlic... As, it, as a whole like this will enable you to have the smell of the garlic and the flavour without actually using garlic. And I'm just going to put quite a lot of rosemary cooking on it. And this is going to leave it cooking for another minute. And then this is now going to go in a preheated oven at 180 to 200 degrees for about 10 to 12 minutes will give you pink. And obviously uh, 12 to 15 minutes will give you sort of medium light. Okay, so the lamb has been cooked uh, both sides for about two minutes on the stove. It's got the garlic, it's got the rosemary, it's got the, the garlic and rosemary oil to enhance the flavour. I've salted it, it's now ready to go in the oven for 10 to 12 minutes. The lamb has now been in the oven for just short of eight minutes. So I'm just going to take it out of the oven and show you what we've got now. So as you can see now, the, the garlic, the rosemary is infused the lamb and it's about as ready as I want it to be. So we're now going to leave it to rest now and I'm going to move on to the next stage which is using our raw ingredient. For this I use two different oils, a mixture of lemon, equal amount and orange. These are scented and they give you a little bit, particularly with the chorizo and the garlic, a little bit of sort of Spanish flavour to the whole thing. So there's two things you can do with the garlic. Like we showed in here, you can keep it whole so you get the flavour of it, but you don't need to actually eat the garlic itself. Or you just simply crush it again and then just chop it. For this exercise, we want the garlic in. So we're just chopping the garlic. Put the garlic first. So make sure they don't cook too fast. I'm sure it's a, a low heat. So I'm putting straight away with the garlic, I'm putting the chorizo in there because I want it to cook together. The orange and the lemon come through now and it gives you a little bit of an infused on it. So cook that nicely. Don't let anything overcook. But as you can see here, the, the, the oil is now um, changed color a little bit because obviously the, the orange and the lemon and the chorizo together has been infused into a lovely sort of orange color. So we're going to carry on cooking that. Once this is about as cooked as I want it, I'm just going to add some potatoes to that. So again, leave that to cook a little bit for about one or two minutes. Right, we just added the potatoes to it now. This is quite crucial. We're adding each ingredient 
every two minutes, so it infuse, each ingredient infuses itself with the previous ingredient to it. So we, what we want to do again, like you see there, the oil has now got a lovely sort of orangey golden brown, so we now want the potatoes to get that flavour. So, first of all we put the garlic, then we put the chorizo, now we put the potatoes into it. The potatoes, as you can see now, again, they're starting to take that lovely golden colour, that sort of orange colour, which the chorizo and both oil have been infused together. At that stage, again, I do like a bit, I put a bit of rosemary, leave it whole, you can retrieve it, you get the flavour, but you don't need to do it. And at that stage, what I'm going to do is add broad beans to it, sweet corn. If you're not a fan of any of these, obviously substitute it. And I'm just going to stir the whole thing together. At that stage, lightly seasoned. And just cook it through together. And again, I'm leaving all these ingredients. The whole thing there is absorbing the flavor of the chorizo, uh, the lemon and the orange together. It's all mixed together now. What we're looking for here? I'm just putting it all over the place. <laughs> I saw the first one, I thought they didn't notice. But when <laughs> saw, right, so you've now got all the ingredients. You've got the, the chorizo, the garlic, which cooked first. Uh, we've added the potatoes to it. And last, we've added, obviously, the peas, the broad bean, and, and, and the, uh, the sweet corn. So that's cooking together now. It's about as good as I want. Just put a little bit of seasoning to it. And last but not least, just the smallest amount of the white wine to it. And last what we're going to do with this now, we're simply going to place the lamb on top of it, like this, and leave this to just gently cook together now. We don't need to touch it, leave it, and this will just, the whole the flavour will come through together. Okay, so there we go, so we've got some gravy here. I've got some lamb fat crumpet again, the recipe will be uh, on the website. So I'm placing this in the center. We gently warm this. You can toast it as well if you want. I've now got, obviously, all these pieces, it's all cooked lovely together. So I'm going to put some of that on top of it and let all the juice of it all going through it. There we go. And then the lamb's rested nicely. Just cut it in two, no need to do any more than that. There we go. So we cooked it. Put the lamb on top like this. There we go. And last but not least, just a bit more on top of it. And that's your dish.